hi great youtubers welcome back in my last video we looked at how to control a relay with a digital input on our diy arduino plc board in visuino in this video we will look at how to read data from an analog sensor in visuino using an ldr as an example let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. We have our electrical drawing. We have 12 volts connected to the applied to the board. And then we have 22K and then 100K resistor. Midpoint gives us a voltage around 9.8. And this voltage is applied to the 10K and then the LDR. And then the midpoint of the LDR is connected to the analog inputs of our board. If you want to know how to calculate these resistors, you can look at my previous video. The link is provided below. Okay, so we have our circuitry right here. We have our negative and positive connected to the power supply point of our board. We have our resistor, this is the 22K and then 100K. Then the midpoint connected to the 10k and then the LDR and then the midpoint of the LDR connected to the input of our analog okay so now let's move on and read data from our sensor in Visrino. doing this is pretty straightforward we scroll to the analog input that is the analog zero connected to the serial point because we will display it in the serial terminal and this is the interface I click on compile uploading done I click on serial and then click on connect we can see the data coming in we are having somewhere around 0 0.18 I block it we can see the data changing I block it again we can see we are getting somewhere around 0 0.34 block it again 0.3 okay so instead of using the terminal we will now display the data on an instrument that is a virtual instrument there is one nice feature in Visrino. okay so I minimize this and then I go to the search button or the search tab and then I search for packets and then we have the on packet and then we have packet so I select packet position it correctly on the canvas and then we have the property remember this is very important you need to click on the header and then give it a random value here I use 44 44 and then I click on OK you need to do this to get your reading stable okay so we now double click on it that is the packet and then we select analog because our data coming in is analog okay so we have it and then we can see that an analog input is added to our packet block we go to element under element we click on the analog and then we have visualization we click on it and then we have instrument we click on the instrument we have various type we select the analog gauge click ok and now on the analog gauge I need to delete this section now so I drop this side and then connect the input to where our analog sensor is connected to which is A0 okay it's connected well and now we move on you can see that without the output connected to the serial we have only the terminal available when I connect the output to the serial input, we can see the instrument is added now. When I click on it, we have this lovely interface. Okay, I click on the build and then upload. Uploading done. Now I can click on serial and then on the instrument, I have the instrument. I click on connect and then we can see that there is data coming in. When I block it, I have around 0 0.4. When I remove my hand, I have around 0 
we can see is working perfectly and we can visualize our data okay great and now disconnect and then move on we can see that when i drop the visualization and then come under instrument we have the scaling we have the max we can set it to five that's what we have or you can leave it in auto so i set it to five that's the maximum scale and then leave the minimum as it is and we can see that on the gauge it has changed okay great I can also change the type of instrument now I use the data display and then I click on connect and we can see we are having a value unfortunately we are not seeing the decimal point when I block it we can see somewhere around 38 Now we will connect the comparator so that we'll be able to control a relay with change in the light brightness okay to do this i look for comparator and then i drag it onto the canvas position it correctly and i need to connect part of the signal coming in that is the sensor signal from the analog point and now I need to specify at what point it's the output has to be triggered and then I set it as 0 0.3 remember our values that we were getting when I block 0 0.3 and now change it to greater than or equal to when it's greater than or equal to this value the output will come on I drag the output to digital pin 7 which will turn on I click on compile and upload We can see that the compilation is done upload is also done i click on syria and then i click on connect we can see the data coming in i block it we can see the relay coming on okay i take my hand off it's working perfectly and i move on and then change this gauge again back to the original gauge that we were using i move in there click on this and then select the analog gauge again click ok and then we have the gauge back i go to connect and then we can see data coming in randomly i block it and then the relay comes on again we can visualize it as well block it again working perfectly viewers this brings us to the end of this video see you in the next tutorial bye bye